The best method to change the time, date or duration of an event depends on whether people have already completed bookings for that event. If your event has no bookings, you can simply select it from your schedule, click Edit Entry, navigate to the Dates and Times section and click on the date you wish to change. If it is a standalone event, i.e. not part of a recurring series, you can make your change straight away. If you want to change one date only in a recurring series, first click on separate this date slash time from the recurrence, then make your change. You can also edit a single date using the edit entry drop down menu as described later in this video. Or to edit an entire series, click edit the recurring schedule as a whole. If an event already has bookings and you use dates and times to edit, you will see red lines appear on your schedule. These red lines serve as an audit trail for existing bookings and can be created whether the event has complete, checkout or cancelled bookings associated with it. The red line stays in the original time slot along with any associated bookings and a new version of the event is created at the new time you have entered. To move existing bookings to a new time, date or duration, just select the event you wish to move from your schedule and use the Edit Entry drop-down menu to find the Change Event Date or Time option. You can then change any timing information before clicking Save Changes. Your event should move to the new time along with all associated bookings. This will not notify any booked attendees, but clicking on the Attendees button followed by Options and View Email List will give you the email addresses of everyone who is due to attend. You can find guidance for everything discussed in our help centre or reach out to our support team for assistance. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we publish more guidance.